Hey everyone, welcome back to Sebrov. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Steam error code E84 with an error message something went wrong while attempting to sign you in. I will be sharing few effective solutions that you can apply. But before that, I would recommend you to quick solution. Number one, please check your internet connection. If you have a poor internet connection or unstable internet connection, then you also get this kind of messages or error message from Steam. So what you have to do, just restart your modem or router and go back to any website like speedtest.net and see that if you're getting the proper internet connection. In case if this is not the problem, then you have to try changing your Steam password. Open any kind of your browser, whichever you use, go to Steam website and once you come here, you have to click on login. Then you'll be getting the sign in page. Now here what you have to do, click on help I can't sign in. Click on this option. Then click on I forgot my Steam account name or password. And then here you have to enter the email that has been registered with Steam or the mobile number registered with Steam. And then click on I'm not a robot. Fill the capture. Click on verify, then click on search. Here you will be getting an option email and account verification to code this email address so you have to click on it and then you will be getting a verification code on your phone or your mobile on your email so you have to follow the step and change the password once the password has been changed again try to log into your steam account with a new password and check back if the problem has been fixed in case if this doesn't work for you next what you have to do you need to press window and r key from your keyboard this will bring up the run box at the left hand corner type here percent temp percent then click on ok now you need to press ctrl a from your keyboard to select all this file here then press the delete key delete all these kind of temp files once done again you have to press window and r key from your keyboard type temp hit enter again again press ctrl a to select all then press the delete key to delete all these files from here now you can close it. You can check now that if the problem has been fixed. In case still if you have the issues, then look for the Steam application icon on your desktop. Right click on it, choose properties. And here in the target section, you have to add the path. So this is the target path. You have to give a space after steam.exe colon. And then here you have to type minus login space minus sign no react login once done you have to click on the compatibility tab from the top menu option and check the option of run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on continue then click on ok now try to launch your steam application and see that if the problem has been fixed now in case if nothing works for you then you also need to make sure that your firewall protection is not blocking the steam application to do on your windows 10 or 11 search box you have to click on it type here firewall from the suggestion choose firewall and network protection here you get an option of allow an app through firewall click on it then you will be getting such kind of page here you have to look for the steam so make sure that uh, you keep scrolling down until you find the steam application over here here it is then click on change settings and make sure that the steam application is checked from here and on the right hand side the private and the public option has been checked All right this is what you have to do in case if you do not find the steam application over here then you have to click on allow another app then click on browse here you have to go to local disk c then go to program file x86 then you will find the steam folder here double click on it and here you have to look for this team so click on it then click on open then click on add i have already added this so it's showing me this error message but in on your end it will be automatically added and once added you have to make sure that it's been checked the private and the public option has also been checked after this you have to restart your computer and see that if the problem has been fixed i'm very sure that this complete list of solution will surely fix your steam error code e84 and if this worked for you guys, do not forget to like and subscribe for any question, let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.